me is the memorial to Stalag XXB. Originally this camp was set up for Polish soldiers and uh, these were joined by French and British uh, prisoners after the fall of France. At the beginning there were rumours of fightbacks, advances by the British and French forces and perhaps these men thought they, they would not be here for four years. At its height, the records show that approximately 9,300 British soldiers were kept here. They were forced to live in appalling conditions, made to work in factories nearby, factories, farms, wood mills, things like that. So the camp was originally very basic, built up of huts and tents, uh, very poor sanitation and probably a very miserable time for those prisoners who were first here. What prisoners was here when they were taken prisoner was something like Vastu das Krieg est urbe, roughly translated means for you the war is over, something which many, many POWs would hear at various stages throughout the, the Second World War. So even though the prisoners were told that the war was over, for many it was the beginning of a new fight to stay alive. The POWs were transported to this camp from Dunkirk and France in appalling and degrading conditions. Little or no food for several days. Long period. Little or no sanitation, very poor conditions, a very mm, degrading those brave young men who had the misfortune of being taken prisoner. So when they arrived here, maybe they had a sense of relief. At least they weren't marching or being transported. The camp was reasonably large. It held at its peak uh, over 32,000 prisoners. And records show that approximately 9,300 British peg dubs were here in 1944. Prisoners were also held in other camps nearby and forced to work there. Uh, whether these were camps, factories, workplaces, so life must have been incredibly difficult for these men trying to their best to survive in very poor conditions in this rat infested camp. So the Long March. In Shafe reports, Willenberg was evacuated in the face of the Vancing Russians in the middle of February 1945. Uh, conditions were appalling, freezing temperatures, uh, little or no food. The men had been kept here for several years. They were in poor health, poor condition, and yet forced to march. Many of those who were sick or too weak did not make it. After three months, they arrived at a place called Farbinder, which is approximately 120 kilometers west of Hamburg. It was there they would wait for liberation. <laughs> 